Hi, Tony Marriott here. I want to give you a quick demonstration of my latest software, the Authority Site Keyword Intelligence Tool. Now, it's been known for quite some time now that Google look positively on authority sites. They've hammered smaller sites and less authoritative sites over the past year or so, changing the face of SEO. Um, but one thing in SEO that hasn't changed is the importance of good keyword research. Uh, maybe that the keyword research needs to be done slightly differently now uh, as we aim towards more authoritative sites. So the authority site keyword intelligence tool is a software keyword research tool that basically does everything automatically for you. It looks at high ranking sites and looks at their keywords and understands what they're doing and can compare that against your site and do gap analysis, etc., to find you the right keywords the proven to rank keywords that you need to make your site into an authoritative site. What this can find is those quality keywords. It can find those, as I said, proven to rank keywords. And of course, the LSI keywords uh, that are all important for your content. Now, the Authority Site Keyword Intelligence tool comes as a WordPress plugin, but it just uses WordPress as a wrapper to give you a, a kind of secure environment to run the tool in. You can use the tool not just on WordPress, certainly not just on the one site, but on any sites you like and any type of sites you like to analyze those sites and to be able to pull literally thousands of super keywords for you to use. Now, ask it's very simple to use. Everything works in what I call projects. So we create a project, which is basically a unique name and a source URL, uh, normally your own site, and of course, a keyword. In other words, it'll be a single targeted keyword. Now, for this demonstration, I'm just going to look at the uh, lawyers.com site. And let's just go lawyers in New York. We can select an appropriate country and create the project. So we just have the one URL, and we can now ask it to crawl the site to pull back all the URLs of that site or all the URLs from that page. And you can ask that multiple times. So I click for more URLs and there we are. It quickly goes off and pulls in all the uh, pages from that site that it can find from that first URL. And of course we could repeat the process uh, here again if we wanted more. We can now look manually through this as well and we can see any pages that we don't want. So in this particular case down here, we can see there are a number of these says external links and we don't want to worry about the external pages and there's a sitemap down there. So we can simply just select those and it's just a matter of one click of the button to delete the URLs that we don't want. And that way we can set up the appropriate URLs that we want to be able to run our analysis and our keyword tool on. Okay, now there's quite a few URLs there. It might take a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the home page. I'm going to select a smaller project, uh, one that I created earlier. I'm just going to open that project now. And I haven't done any more with it other than actually create the project. So I'm now going to... Uh, get more URLs once more. Again, that'll just take a second or two. And here we are, we now have the URLs. I'm just gonna get rid of that bottom one because I don't know that's just an advert. Uh, so I don't really want to analyze that page. So we just delete that URL as well. And now we have four URLs that I want to analyze. Now, the first thing I need to do is to ask it to go out and find the keywords, the primary keywords that it thinks that those particular pages are targeting. So we'll go out and intelligently check and find those keywords and it'll bring them back for us. And as you can see now, it's pulled back, in this case, used sheds for the used shed one, uh, some kind of storage sheds for what is used as storage shed. So it kind of intelligently finds the appropriate keywords. And this is based on the actual SEO of the site. So if it's poorly SEO, then the results may not be as good, but it said it gives you the appropriate keywords. And if they're not appropriate, if they're not right, then you can uh, select the ones that you want, or even you can select alternative keywords and run different reports later and get different results and different keywords back. But let's just move on with this one. So we're happy with the uh, initial results. So the next thing we do, we actually literally click ask it, and it will go away now and look at every single page and every single keyword, it will take the keyword and get a Google top 10 result for that keyword. It will then take the top 10 sites from the Google results and pull each of those pages back. And it will analyze and extract all the keywords from that particular page or the whole top 10 pages of Google. 
and it will add them automatically and store them away for us to be able to report on. You don't need to click save or anything else. It's all done completely on the fly. So it's come back now after retrieving all the data and storing it away for us. And now if I go back home, I can now also go to the reporting section. So once I go off to report, I've now got a number of options you see here. We can do a full keyword list ordered, or we can do single keyword list in CSV, etc. So we've got a whole variety of options for doing reports. So it gives us a lot of flexibility. Now what I'll do for the moment, I'll pull the full keyword list ordered report, which is uh, probably the most interesting. And I'll just click that now. And you'll see it just takes a few seconds to pull that report for us. Because the data is all pre-gathered now, it can pull these reports quite rapidly. So as we look there now, we can see we've got something like 647 unique single keywords. And we have two word phrases, three word phrases, and four word phrases for the uh, returned keywords. Now, let me just have a look here, and we can see that we've got the report source URL. And you'll notice the moment it says all pages. So if I just select that down, I'm actually reporting on all the pages that we collected but we could do it on individual pages for instance i could just do it on the on the use shed one and run the report again and it will immediately just run the report simply on that one url you'll see now the keywords has dropped something like 334 but if you look here we'll see we're looking at max search results at the moment we're only looking at one search result that's the number one page in google for that keyword now we can choose anything one two three four five or whatever right up to the top 10 so let's just have a look at the top 10 for uh, all the all those four pages and if i now run that this will bring us back the maximum amount of keywords because of course it's for the whole project and once more it doesn't take very long at all to bring the project back and you can see from this now, we've got a lot of keywords. We're talking around um, nearly 4,000 uh, single unique keywords here in the list. Okay, so let me just um, reduce this back to one URL and uh, let's say the top three. And I can run that report again. Okay, so we're now around about 1,000 keywords. And what we could do now as well uh, is we can actually gap analyze this. In other words, by selecting the gap analysis, we can actually remove from this list the keywords that are in your target page. So any keywords that are already on this usheds.net page will be removed from this list. So what we'll end up with, if I now redo the report again, so these are now all unique keywords that aren't already in your existing site. So that means you can find the top keywords from here and create new posts or pages uh, for your site, uh, targeting those keywords. You can add additional keywords so you have multiple keyword targets within single pages, which is fairly standard within an authority site. And of course, you can use them as LSI keywords to actually improve the quality of the content of your existing posts and pages. Now you'll notice that the list here of the individual keywords are highlightable and clickable and you can actually remove them from the current project. So if, for instance, I've got the word days at the top here that isn't relevant to this particular niche, I can simply click on that one and it will immediately remove it from the project and completely rebuild my results for me. Okay, that way you can tailor your specific report exactly to what you want. And for accessing the information to take out perhaps into other keyword tools or for your own reports, Okay, let's have a look at the data and how we can extract this data for use in other keyword tools, uh, in a Google keyword tool, or even in your own reports or custom reports. Now we have the option here, we have a number view up here, uh, and I just explain these numbers. These are the amount of reoccurrences or occurrences of the actual keywords. So these particular keywords up here would have been seen 87, 64, 52 times within this particular report or within the pages that this reports on. Now we can go to number view or we can flip the number view and I'm going to take this out. What that does is basically rebuild the report, but it takes out those numbers for us. And the reason is just so as we can easily then cut and paste any of these um, keywords, either individually or as blocks from here and copy them out and, as I say, paste them into any other tools or where we want to do. 
Now that's just the easiest one, but of course, we've got a number of other reporting views. Um, in this particular case, we can do either the full keyword list or I can pull out just single keywords, two, two, two word phrases, three word, four word phrases, etc. So if I just look at single keyword phrases in CSV format, it literally gives us all the single words uh, just comma separated in the standard format. Again, you can cut or copy and paste these out of here and save them as you like. But to make it a lot easier, once you open them up, up here you will see some download links. We have a CSV download link, and again, that will download to a text file. And we'll just open literally or uh, save off a file exactly as it is with this comma separated format. But it also gives the option to open up for a spreadsheet such as Microsoft Excel or OpenOffice Calc. Again, that will open up or save off in a specific format for us so that we can use it in the spreadsheet. And as you see now, we've got it in nice column format, so it fits nicely in the spreadsheet and we can use that to tailor reports or do whatever you want. Okay, as I said, similar to three and four word reports, we also have what I call the header keyword list. Uh, this is an ordered format and CSV as well. Now these are the keywords which are not taken from the body. This is actually taken from the generally what would be the SEO area, so the head. So we're taking things from like the title of the page and the description of the page, and also it uses the meta keywords area to pull those out as well. Now it's long been known that the use of meta keywords in the header does not help SEO directly, but a lot of websites still use it and it is an area that we can pull their keywords from so we can see what they're trying to target. And finally, uh, Google themselves. So if I now go to related searches, while it's been out pulling all these to Google top tens, it also pulls the related searches off for us. So we can have a look and we can see the actual searches that Google think we should be making in relation to these keywords. Okay, that basically covers the primary operation of Authority Site Keyword Tool. As you can see from this, it's something that works very quickly. It does the kind of work that you probably couldn't actually do if you did do it. It would take literally weeks to be able to do this and pull this together. And ask it literally does it in a few minutes. So that's my authority site keyword tool, probably the quickest and easiest way for pulling literally thousands of keywords that have proven ranking ability that are loved by Google because they're come from Google top 10 search results. They're related directly to the keywords in and targeted by your own sites. So they are perfect for helping you create authority sites or turn your existing sites into more authoritative sites, making sure that you can win those ranking battles.